In this video, let us see how to build a tree map. And a tree map is uh, usually used uh, when you have large number of categorical variables and you want to identify uh, the top variables uh, based on a particular condition. So in this example, I'm using the SMP data uh, that can be easily obtained by just Googling SMP 500 financial information. So to plot the tree map, you open the graph builder from graph menu and in the graph builder menu, uh, you click and drag your categorical variable of interest as the X option. And then uh, you can click uh, the tree map icon. Uh, just to note here uh, that the tree map, the mosaic plot, and uh, the heat map, they all have very similar logos, so you might get confused. In that case, you can just keep your mouse uh, for a second on the icons, and then you can see below that it shows a description of the icons. So to uh, obtain the tree map, you click on the tree map icon here. So now you can see that uh, by default, this is a tree map that is generated. However, this is actually not very useful. So you may want to size these squares uh, based on a particular variable and here that variable for me is market cap so I'm going to drag market cap into size so now uh, you can see that uh, the these companies they have been uh, there the squares uh, which represent these companies they are kind of randomly organized so if you want to organize them based on the size you can come here to this layout and click squarify so now you can see some of the top companies listed here uh, among these 500. Uh, and then uh, additionally, you can see that uh, uh, you can you have this color option where you can color these companies uh, uh, based on the sector. So here again, you can see that uh, some of the top companies here are from the information technology. Uh, you can also actually categorize uh, these companies uh, so that you can clearly differentiate between different sectors and also identify the major companies in each of these sectors. This can be done by uh, dragging the sector categorical variable just below companies. So now you can see that the tree map has been organized as uh, uh, into different sectors and each of these sectors you can see different companies. And you can see that uh, it shows the title for each of these sectors in the middle. You can actually move this to a more uh, comfortable place above uh, by just choosing this group labels as above. So now uh, you can clearly see the tree map. So using tree map this way can be useful, uh, especially if you want to identify uh, uh, for in this example, uh, we can see that uh, you can see the major companies from uh, different sectors. Uh, so once you are done with the customizations, uh, you can just click done.